while I'm waiting for the steam engine to raise pressure, I'm going to introduce the purpose of this video, which is to tell the story of the Golden Turnip, a live steam drama. This is following on the heels of the great turnip caper of earlier. And this is the last day that Mocha, the neighbor's dog we're house sitting, will be here to watch trains. And of course, Saddle is always here and a bit itchy. Lord Michael will be driving today. As I was out here this morning doing the setup for this, it's turned out that uh, overcast has rolled in and a cold wind has dropped to eight degrees Celsius, but it's still not too bad. Dan, give Dave a call. His latest shipments of turnips has arrived. Will do. Does that guy eat anything else? One has to wonder. His insides must be yellow. Oh, I dare not think about it. Still, his shipments are good for business. Well, the friar is happy, of course. He gets his train watching in today. Going to have to run, Steve. Conductor Keith has my turnips at the station. It was nice chatting, Dave. That man and his turnips. Hey, I like turnips too. You men and your turnips. Oh, Henry, well, I hope that Dave got his turnips. I think he did, Marge. I think he did. I, I, I think I saw them dropping them off at the platform over there at the good shed. All right, Simon. How do? I've got my latest shipment of turnips. I say, have you ever heard the legend of the golden turnip? I have. Has it not got something to do with you gnomes? Yes, indeed. It is the goal of every gnome to find a golden turnip at least once in their lives, but most never do. I think taking up train watching is a mere achievable pastime. Oh, why? Have you ever found one? Sadly, no. But I have found a few small copper ones and a small silver one. I wish I could taste turnips. Everyone goes on and on about them. That's because they're good. All I get is a plug-in to revive my energy. Sometimes, I wish it were that easy. But then again, I'd miss the taste and variety of food. You could try electricity sometime. No thanks. Okay, so while we're here to pick up some mail, I will say that this rail car, this rail car, and this one came from Cousin Dan, the voice of Porter Dan, because he's moving out of large scale and down into HON3. So these were Cousin Dan's. Terry, 
What's all this about turnips? We have so much around here, I'm getting tired of them. Now, Rob, don't tell that to Dave. Well, I suppose there are worse things. Uh, at least Dave is practically keeping the railway in business with his turnip shipments. Does he really eat that many? Uh, I choose not to ask. Do you like turnips, Friar? Well, of course he does. He's a man. turnips again for supper yes felix you ate them last time remember yes but that's because one of them was gold colored i know that was odd where did you find it anyways by the tracks near simon's house You can read about the people in this video and follow links in the description. Even though the friar has a vow of silence, he handed me a paper suggesting that you should share this video and subscribe so we can help grow the hobby.